Well, hello everybody. Garrett here from Overeat Outdoors again. And we're back in my kitchen. It seems to be a regular place for our meetings here these days. Today we're doing another episode for our Field to Table series. I'm wrapping up my uh, 2020 um, deer meat you know, processing. So if you've been following along, you know that I've been working on trying to get a whole bunch of this meat I've had stored in my freezer um, processed. I had uh, grinder issues and I finally got around to getting my new grinder and I've got this awesome Weston uh, grinder here that has been performing re remarkably well. It's really love this thing and I can't say enough good things about it. I've got a couple other Weston products as if you've been following and you know that I've been using and you'll see uh, a couple other things here during this uh, video. But today I'm making um, garlic and pepper bratwurst sausage. So. See here, I've got my High Mountain Seasoning Kit, which Chris and I have both been using the High Mountain Seasoning uh, products for several years now, and we are huge fans. It just makes everything so much easier, especially when you buy the kit. It has everything you need from the casings and the seasonings and the cure. It's all right there. Super, super easy. I'm not a, you know, make my own fancy, you know, seasonings and all that stuff kind of guy. I like these things and this makes it easy and uh, and everybody enjoys the product and the end result. So I got some meat here that I thought I started thawing out last night. It's still partially frozen. Uh, as I've said numerous times, I like working with the, the partially frozen meat. It just seems to you know be easier to handle. It's easier getting to the grinder and it keeps the meat nice and cold for the you know the, the overall process. And that has worked well for me. So Gonna get, I'm going to do a, a little bit a leaner um, mix on this than I had, did with some of the previous stuff I did. If you saw the, uh, the Polish sausage uh, episode that I did, I went with a 30% mix. It's, it's good. I really like it. And people I've shared it with have really liked it. But to me, it just seemed to be a little bit on the, uh, on the greasy side, if you will. So I... I did um, some snack sticks and some jerky. I did a real low, like 10% mix on it. And uh, I did some hamburgers with a 10% mix and they all came out pretty good. But for today for the brats, I'm gonna try doing probably around, it'll probably end up being around 20% mix. The Polish sausage was a 30% mix. So we'll see, I'm doing 24 pounds of bratwurst. So I'm gonna get all of this cut up. I'll weigh it all out. And so this will end up being about 18, It'll be about 18 pounds of uh, ground venison that I'll mix with about 5 pounds of, um, of beef fat is what I'm using. I'll, I'll show you that here in a second. And then once I get it all done, we'll get it stuffed and then um, let it sit overnight and tomorrow morning and I'll throw it on the camp chef and put it on a real nice little smoke and get it packaged up and in the freezer. But I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting this stuff up. Alright, well I've got the... Uh, venison all cut up in nice little cubes and two big buckets here so as you can see I've got nice little cubes of uh, uh, venison here because it's still partially frozen so I have 18 and a half pounds of, of the uh, venison that's all cut up here and now I'm going to get my, my fat cut up so if you've been following along you'll know that I've been using beef fat for all of my my, my processing. You know, a lot of people like using, you know, pork belly or just pork fat or just grinding in some pork, whatever. Um, for me, it's really just about accessibility and, and uh, cost. So I use a local butcher here in my area uh, to get all of my fat from. It's all locally sourced and, uh, you know, sustainable farming practices, all those things that are important to uh, Chris and I and to our channel. So you being able you know, to go to a place like that and get some quality product is, is pretty important. So I can get this beef fat for uh, pretty readily and it's only 99 cents a pound versus the you know, $2.50 a pound for the, the pork fat. So I experimented with it and I really like the consistency that I get with my, with, with my end result here and the taste and the flavor profile is really good. So. This cuts up real nice and easy. I'm going to get it all um, portioned out and then I'll start grinding. Alright, got the fat cut up. It didn't take very long. Um, 
Now I'm going to get this grinder fired up and start grinding all this, this meat. We'll get it all ground up and then we'll get the, the mixer out. First step here with the grind is uh, using the coarse plate. So that's what I have in here. I'll get all of this ground through the uh, coarse plate and then I'll come back and put the, the fine grind plate on right here and run it through one more time and that will give us that real good um, consistency. And then I'll take all of that, put it in the mixer, mix it all together, and then we'll do the seasoning with that as well. And I'll show you that when we get there. Okay, so I got all of the venison and the fat ground on the coarse plate. I'm going to mix it um, before I run it through the fine, uh, the fine grind plate. So I've got my Weston uh, mixer here. Uh, this thing has been awesome. I never had one before until this year and I've always just done it by hand, but I'm doing some pretty big batches, so this works out great. This, is, uh, this will hold 20 pounds, but I usually just do it a little bit less than that. So I've taken my 24 pounds total of the fat and the venison, kind of split it in half, I'm gonna mix it in two batches, and then I'll combine the two, the two mixes to run through the, um, to the grinder here. So this will be pretty simple. We'll just start, we'll start spooning in some of this and then I, as I mentioned, I did all of this uh, with the meat partially frozen. So I have a little ground now you know, that, on the coarse grind, but it's still very, very cold. It's almost like um, um, frosty. So I'll get all this in here and then we'll start mixing away. And all this does is get a nice even mix of the uh, whatever it is you mix together. So in this case, the uh, venison and the beef fat, I just want to get a nice even consistency of, in my mix. And it makes things very easy to do. It's way easier than doing it by hand, that's for sure. All right, I got all that mixed. We got quite a bit here. I got another little bowl back here. I'm gonna start feeding this through the fine grind plate and uh, then we'll be ready to mix in the seasonings and the cure and start stuffing some of these bratwurst. So let's get busy. All right, we're all cleaned up here from the grinding process. And I have the fine grind done and uh, mixed, you know, and everything got mixed well together and it looks really good. So I've got it divided up into two 12 pound, 12 pound batches, 12 pounds in my bucket here, 12 pounds in the mixer. Um, that way I can get a good even mix on the, uh, the seasonings and the cure. So this just works out well and it's nice because the, uh, the seasoning packs come in. You can do 24 pounds total for this kit. So you've got, two seasonings, two cures for 12 pound in you know, batches. So it just makes it super easy. So we're going ahead and get busy here. So I've got a pouch of the, uh, the garlic pepper bratwurst seasoning. And let's pour that in here, sprinkle it in. And then one packet of the uh, cure. Now, if you're gonna do this as fresh sausage, you don't need to use a cure. I'm not making it as fresh sausage. I'm gonna process all this, cook it on the smoker while let it sit overnight and I'll cook it on the smoker and then freeze it. And then I've got a little thing of ice water going here and 6.4 ounces it says of the water. So I got my little cup here. Okay so I've got the water cure in the mix in there. So I'll get this all done and then we'll be ready to start stuffing sausages here shortly. I've already got my sausage casings rinsed off and uh, sitting in a bucket of uh, warm water, getting ready to go. All right, we got everything set up. I got the first casing on the uh, sausage stuffing tube here, and we're ready to start uh, start stuffing some some bratwurst. All right, as you can see, I'm all done. I got the. Uh, Bratwurst is stuffed, and I got 24 pounds in my bucket here. So this will go into the refrigerator tonight and uh, cure until the morning. And then we'll see you guys back here in the morning. Put this stuff on the camp chef and get it all cooked up. So see you in the morning. Good morning. We're back. We've got our brats here all laid out on our on the screens for the the camp chef, and uh, let them sit let them sit overnight. 
uh, and cure. Look pretty good here this morning. Uh, get them on the Camp Chef at a, I'm going to do 160 degrees, probably take me about three hours, three, four hours, based on the amount that we have here. We got 24 pounds. Anyway, I'm going to get this stuff out there on the, uh, and start cooking. All right, we've got those on the uh, Camp Chef. That sounds great. So there you go, 24 pounds of bratwurst on the Camp Chef. Yeah, so that'd be pretty good. We'll let those sit there for a few hours and uh, cook up. And we should be able to let them sit and cool and then package them up. So we'll come back in a little bit and check them. All right. Well, we're all done. So I let these sit on the smoker for you know about three hours, you know at 180 degrees, and uh, cooked them to fully cooked. And I uh, let them sit, you know, and cool down for a little bit. And uh, got a big old bucket of them here. So I'm pretty pretty excited about how this turned out. Um, it's been a while since I've made some bratwurst. You know, Chris and I made some a few years ago. They came out really well. And again, it's just super rewarding to be able to do this yourself. Um, it is a lot of work. I mean, I've spent the last two days of my of my weekend here, you know, working on this between, you know, most of the work was, you know, yesterday with all the grinding and, you know, mixing and stuffing and all that stuff. You know, today, you know, just cooking is pretty easy. You know, I've obviously got, you know, finished letting this set up and then, uh, you know, as far as cooling, then I'll get it all packaged up in the freezer. But... You know, if you guys aren't out there doing this stuff yourself, I highly recommend you guys get the tools to do it and, uh, and, and do it yourself. Like, it's a lot of work, but in the end, you get the quality product out of it. And I can't say enough good things about the High Mountain Seasoning Kits. Makes things really easy, they taste great. You know, and, and my Western products I have from my grinder to the mixer and so on, it, it just uh, makes life super easy. So as always, hey, thanks for following along. I hope you guys are enjoying this, this, this series that we've got going here with the Field of Table um, episodes. Keep following along, a lot more to come. We appreciate it. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. You guys are killing it for us and we, we appreciate all the support. And then of course, leave a like and hit in a comment. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.